Hello YouTube, welcome back to a new video today. We're going to be showcasing Madden Prior and some sort of stuff that has also been added to the game um, during this update. Now that it's out, we are totally excited so don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it first of all Madeline is a Madeline is a game pass she's 1450 robux she has 450 health 450 magic and 300 stamina this is how she looks like and her slay walk is slaying now let's move on to her abilities first we have is a shield her shield looks pretty cute, not gonna lie, and it has 450 resistance, um, so it is pretty, pretty kawaii. I actually like it, not gonna lie, pretty cute. Next we have is a C, which is a beam, it is chargeable, chargeable, so once you charge it fully, you can click again, and then it will send this powerful beam to the person. It does quite a lot of damage, however, that person is not ragdoll, so they can run away from your beam as easily. Next, you have this X, which is an insta-kill. It is kind of like a judgment or whatever, which you sent them to hell. And they're gonna be dealt with over there. I'm kind of disappointed because her camera does not go there as well. Next, we have is R, which is telekinesis. It's basic. You hold the person up in the air with this beautiful effect, and then you kind of push them, and they, they do take a small amount of damage. Although, turned out, they are ragdolled more than I thought they would be, so, yeah. Next, we have is Z, which kind of like a create this, kind of like a venomous place. I don't know, but anybody inside this circle will be taking a lot of damage, and if they are taking damage, you will see this effect around them. Next we have is her basic balls. Um, again, it has like 3 seconds cooldown, so it is really, really, really less than I expected. Next we have is T, which kind of like sends this... What is it called? Weapon? Whatever. But yeah, it is for like 10 seconds cooldown, which is like... A lot, I'm not gonna lie. Um, next we have is G, which is kind of like her ultimate. Hi girl! Where do you think you're running? <laughs> okay, so basically what you do is that you drag everybody around you to your dimension, which is the hell dimension. They cannot fight back, like, at all, so you can drag them easily, um, kill people and whatever, and it does stay for, like, 60 seconds cooldown, which is kind of, like, a lot. Um, next ability, which you have seen me doing in that, like, dimension, which I will show you right now. TP star. The next one is F, which does this. Which does take like at least 50 damage, which is like a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it is quite a lot. So those those are her abilities, and she does have some spells and she does have a passive. So yeah. Her first spell is her thing, weapon, which she can summon it, and everybody around her that are next to her while she's summoning them do get chained up, and they do get damaged as they are getting chained up. Next we have is two, which is her dimension. Once you get in, you will be able to fly and move freely in her dimension. This is her crown. It looks absolutely stunning. Pretty love it. And once you want to come back, all you have to do is do two again. And you will be able to come back. Last but not least is three, which is... Kind of like takes two people. And they will have to go fight. One of them will come back alive. The other two will, will, if that team is on you, you will take two of them. One of them will come back alive, while the other will come back dead. So we'll see who's gonna win, which endgame Wanda is going to win. Go Yad, you didn't even kill her? Oh my god, I was about to eat. 
<laughs> that was pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty cute. So as for her, as for her first um, passive is an inst is an extra shield, which you can upgrade it in the settings, which I will, I will show you soon. When somebody breaks your shield, you will be able to get your extra shield. And once you collect it, you will be taking damage, but you will be having your auto shield on, which means it is much enough to deal with the person and kill them before you get well, basically killed because of that shield. Okay, mom's ender, period. You can upgrade this ability by going to settings and then you will find on abilities, you'll find here, and you can upgrade it up to max. As for her second passive, we have Resurrection. Um, you'll be able to resurrect once, I think, every time you die. So, ew, not this Momwanda. So, yeah, you will be able to come back every time. Not every time, but once after you get killed. Limbo. And then I will go talk to the flop. Where is he? Hey. I like the Queen of Limbo. I'm supposed to, like, fly or whatever. Yeah, I have no idea where to find that flop. No, no. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. I see someone over here. Okay, so I found him. All you have to do is find this big rock and then speak to this guy and, uh, and tell him, Take me back now, because I'm the queen of limbo. And after he takes you back, you'll be able to resurrect just like this. Once you're resurrecting, everybody around you will basically be stunned, therefore damaged as well. After collecting six souls by just basically killing people, um, if you were low in health, I'm pretty sure that you will get your magic back immediately, but only if you have killed six people while you have low health. So let's see how it works right now. Okay, I'll kill you now. I'll kill you now. Eh, voila. Look, now I'm healing up to full health. Only if you had five souls already and you were low on health, all you have to do is kill another soul up to six souls and you will be fully um, healed. Before we move on to Cyclops, I want to showcase her, or well, Madden Empire's skin. Um, she has, is given to Lee. <laughs> she is 100,000 coins, I'm sure, I think, or free, I don't know. But, yeah, she's 100,000, okay. 100,000 coins, and this is how she looks like. She is basically like Madeline. But, um, she has blue powers instead. As you guys can see. So her powers are a bit blue. I think they look more beautiful than Madeline's, not gonna lie. I don't know, I just feel like it. Also, she also has abilities here which you can, you know, upgrade. She has two souls that she can collect. Same thing as Madeline, except for, um... Yeah, it damages, yeah. It gives damage. Uh, but she has the same stuff except for a new skin. Now let's move on to Cyclops. Next we have is Cyclops. He is a free skin and he has a coin skin as well. Um, this is how he looks like. He's a bit floppy, not gonna lie. <laughs> he is not able to fly at all, but he can double jump as you guys just saw. And let's move on to his abilities. First we have his Q, which is kind of like a beam. I don't know. It, it's giving me quick, but yeah, it, it does like a small amount of damage, not that big of a deal. Next we have his X. Oh my god. Yeah, this, this character is floppy. Okay, so first of all, he got this. And then he ragdolls you. And this you're gonna have to like aim it correctly. You cannot just be close to them. So that, that's how it works. Next we have is beam. 
which does a lot of damage. Yeah, it does a lot of damage, not gonna lie. Next we have is R, which is kind of like a combo. Oh god. Oh god. Somebody doesn't have a head. <laughs> this is a combo which kind of works as an insta kill as well if um, the person is under a specific amount of health, most likely 50%. Next we have is Z. And I'll be showing you guys how it works. Come here! So Z works just like this. And Ragdoll doesn't take much, so I am like in different minds with this, not gonna lie. Next we have is balls, like basic balls. And then he has F, which kind of like a radiation ability. And last we have is T, which kind of like a mass, mass blazer. I don't know, he doesn't have shield, doesn't look like he has shield at all. But I feel like Cyclops would have been better. But now let's move on to his coins. Next we have is his coin skin. Um, I'm basically the same thing, maybe with a little bit of buffs. So yeah, you see, this does double the damage than the first one did. Also eggs. You're gonna have to kind of like aim it not gonna lie next we have is beam next is the combo oh you did oh she's not dead i don't like that skin <laughs> next we have is z again uh same abilities we have his bolts we have his f and then lastly we have his t one thing that I forgot to mention is that once he double jumps and you click M1, you'll be able to fly down just like this, as well as anyone within that radius of that ability will be taking damage too. If you jump from a, from a building, also you can do the same, I'm pretty sure, as you guys can see. A little bit floppy because he can't fly like fast, but yeah, that was Cyclops. And now I'm going to show you some of other changes that happened within the game. Endgame has gotten a much, very much needed buff. Um, now she can fly faster. Um, I will show you guys right now. Sorry, I will show you right now. As you guys can see, she flies a whole lot faster than she used to, um, which is a very, very, very much better than before. Now her abilities do more damage especially her f ability which is really really good um i'm pretty sure her z is still the same yeah limited ender for real uh yeah her z is pretty much the same but her abilities do a lot of damage right now which is extremely good um i like her buff very much indeed and i do feel like also her outfit buff was pretty cute no yeah, her outfit got changed than the one that she used to have as well. Let me go to the light and show you guys. As you guys can see. Really cute! Also, save zone has been adjusted. I can't seem to find him here on the map at all. Um, one more thing uh, that I didn't mention is that limited slots are now shared. So, spots now has been shared, so my friend is being the classic Momanda, which is occupied. If I want to play as another Momanda, like A38, it's going to be not available spots. If I want to play as Corrupted, not available spots. Um, let's see if OG has their own spot. No, not available spots. So, I'm pretty sure right now that all limiteds have only one spot shared, so you can have only up to four limiteds per server, which is extremely adorable. like it very, very much. If there's a Momanda you will not be able to play Momanda at all. So you can't have more than one Momanda, one Phoenix Force, one Dark Phoenix, and one Selene um, per server, which is really, really good. And last but not least, we're going to be showing you guys the map and some stuff that has been changed in the map. The map is kind of like really huge, not going to lie, but I do like the map a lot. So this is the map. It is extremely huge. This place kind of like has NPCs that you can fight. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to fight them for a quest, if I'm not mistaken. 
But yeah, those are kind of like in pieces that you can find as well. Here we got the X Men mansion, uh, mansion that you can enter as well. You will find these places. Anyways, like a lot. Of, this this map is more detailed than they ever um brought into the game. So that was all the changes, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully a gameplay.